This week on The Wire. Lockdowns won't stall boom, says CBA. Lenders offer incentives to refinance and sales strong despite city lockdowns. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. You can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week. Lockdowns won't stall boom, says the CBA. So Australia's biggest home loan lender is confident the housing market will continue to strengthen despite an increase in borrowers asking for mortgage relief in recent months. Now CBA says it is receiving almost 2,000 calls a week from borrowers feeling the financial strain of the pandemic and lockdowns and are seeking a reprieve from home loan repayments. Now Group Executive Retail Banking Angus Sullivan says it has deferred almost 7,000 loans during the most recent lockdowns. Now about 60% of the calls for help have been from New South Wales uh, homeowners, particularly during the last two weeks where construction sites were shut down. Now Sullivan says the recent short lockdown in Queensland resulted in a daily spike in calls of 200 a day. Now despite the difficulties faced by many homeowners, CBA predicts house prices will continue to increase this year, buoyed by ongoing strong demand. Now it forecasts its price will lift another 3-4% to this year and between 7 and 8% in 2022. Now guys, for our next story, lenders offer incentives to refinance. So with demand for property continuing to grow, lenders are competing to snare a piece of the action, including the demand for refinancing. Now owner-occupied refinancing has more than doubled compared with two years ago, with the total value of refinancing during June exceeding $16 billion. Now the increased competition has lenders offering interest rates below 2%, as well as cash bonuses and incentives worth up to $5,000, I should say. Now, ING Bank and ME Bank, which recently merged with the Bank of Queensland, are offering cash incentives of up to $3,000 for financiers, as well as fixed interest rates from 1.89%. Now, Rate, uh, Rate City uh, Research Director Sally Tyndall says the current interest rates on offer are highly competitive and can save homeowners thousands in just a few years. She says a $1 million principal and interest borrower on an average rate of 3.07% who refinanced the lowest two-year fixed rate of 1.79% could save up to $25,000 in two years. And now guys, for our final story of the week, sales strong despite city lockdowns. So COVID lockdowns in Southern markets have done nothing to dampen enthusiasm for property or stem solid price rises. Now most capital cities recorded strong auction clearance rates last week with Adelaide leading the pack with 85% of auction properties selling under the hammer. Now Sydney's preliminary auction clearance rate hit 83% last week with almost two thirds of properties sold before auction day. Now, although Canberra went into lockdown ahead of the weekend, its auction clearance rate was still 82%, followed by Brisbane with a clearance rate of 75%, and Melbourne with a slightly subdued 63% after a third of planned auctions were withdrawn. Now, solid prices were achieved across the weekend, including a whole floor penthouse with Sydney Harbour Views in Manly, which sold for $6.6 .6 million. In Victoria, a five bedroom home in Brighton sold for $9.7 million after just two inspections, achieving a suburb record of $19,000 per square metre. Now, Adelaide had a median sale price of $810,000 for homes which went to auction last weekend, while in Brisbane, it was $915,000. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that is action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.